Now, I'll tell you about where I was born. And on the day he was born, it was Vincent's, St. Vincent's Day. So my mother was upstairs with me and uh, they were debating on what name, what name would they give him? And she said, there's no argument. He's going to be Vincent because it's St. Vincent's Day. And she was um, a, a school teacher. She's, she uh, was in this little Connie. Connie was a very small parish in, 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 the, in Kilkenny. And the house was so small that when, because for five children, Seamus and Maura and Philip, who late, we lost Philip later. And uh, so when I arrived, it was time for me and the family to move on. But we, we loved Connie and the people there, they loved my, my mother and, uh, and she was a great teacher. Anyway, I was whisked away to Windergap, which was in, in the south of Kilkenny, and uh, that's where Mother got the, her new job. And she lived there all her life while she taught in that place and, and did wonderful work. And I was uh, very happy in wine camp, you know, I, uh, there, were, there wasn't any other child in the village, so I'd have to go out into the farms and to play or kick football or play hurley and so on. But it was, it was a very nice life and uh, so I, uh, I went to the Christian Brothers to be, get educated. I would cycle in every five day, uh, it's five miles to Callan. And uh, again, I, I have great respect for them. They, they did a great job. And uh, so I, I uh, but later on, uh, I went uh, to Rockwell. It's a, it's a big co college where they played great rugby and so on. But I only stayed for a year because we couldn't afford it. And, uh, and I went from there when I was in my teens. I went to Dublin to live with Seamus, my brother who was older and who was um, in the civil service. And uh, he was wonderfully uh, helpful to me, and he was a great inspiration. He was such a, a man who cared about the poor people and things, and he found out how badly poor people were being treated uh, in, the, by, in the banks. They would hardly let you in unless you were guaranteed to have had a big farm or something like that. And he says, this can't, can't be. And he found out about the credit union in uh, Canada and America. And he went around Ireland uh, getting this, this uh, idea into places. He was the, the, the really, he was the first person to, 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 to start it. And I said, oh, it'll never happen. The people will let you down, James. <laughs> you, they, what do you mean that you, poor people, and they came in and they collect the money, they won't pay you back. How wrong could I be? <laughs> and because it's now billions, they're, they're, 
able to uh, get. Anyway, uh, I fa got no decent job in, in Dublin. It was a very poor place in 1949 and uh, I finally decided I'll have to go to England and uh, Seamus gave me the, fa the fare it was four, four, four pounds I had a, so I had a pound when I arrived in, in London but luckily my sister Teresa, who was an angel, and she was doing very well, and she was in the BBC, in a very respected uh, job. And uh, what did she work as? She was a, sec a secretary to some of the uh, the top people in in BBC, and uh, I enjoyed that because <laughs> that was great. Because all the all the programs, the the great uh, comedy programs and things, were uh, put on in this theatre only very close to where we were living, and uh, so I would be there, and uh, in the uh, in, if I had time in the in the week, I got free uh, entertainments. And then the proms would come along and the concerts and she'd have tickets for us. So it was good times. Anyway, I, uh, she encouraged me to go back and study again and you know, get on. Mm -hmm. And uh, she kept, uh, she kept uh, my nose to the Christ. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I got on. I got on. I got into the the uh, the school, the uh, eco economics, the London School of Economics. I was very lucky. It was, it was a, it was a great uh, chance for us. But I had to go there only. I could. I can only go in the evening. So I'd be pretty tired by the time the day was over, having a job. And uh, but. I was I was very happy, but one day Teresa said to me, "There's a there's a offer to, for training buyers in the textile business, and and the job would be in Africa." And I said, "Wow, that's, that sounds great." But uh, will I get the job? She says, they, they pay to, to take you up to Manchester and uh, you can have a meal on the train at their expense and they could stay overnight and uh, oh, it's terrific, you know. And uh, so I went and got the train to Manchester. I've never been in Manchester, and it's a long journey. And uh, and during the, the 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 time I was in the in the train, I said I must go and have that dinner that they <laughs> paid for. And I went, and the only place I could sit down was be, beside. Um, military man with a monocle. He looked like he was American. He, he did so, so it was. And, uh, and his wife was beside him. And so he says, come and sit, sit and uh, tell me where you came from or where you... Oh, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm from Ireland uh, and, uh, and I've come over here to, to better myself. And I really am very happy here and studying with the, in, the, in the, that college. And so they chatted away and uh, they said, oh, Ireland, um, do you know a place called Kilkee? Mm, that's down in Clare. 
Oh yes, lovely people, great people down there. And, and then I noticed that his wife blossomed up and was smiling so happy. Because <laughs> she was from Kilkee. <laughs> oh, and she's, he says, my wife is, is, is Irish too. And so oh, we had a great time. Uh, it was um, teaching me tricks with, uh, with uh, squares of sugar and things like that. Ah, that was a nice man. And uh, so anyway, it was, just, it was a real pleasure. Uh, that tr that trip. Anyway, we went to the uh, place where the, the in Whitwood Street in in Manchester, and that's where they were screening the people that have uh, 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 applied for the job. Uh, well, there were several jobs, two or three, and but. Um, but they're all in the, in the buyers. And how many people were there? Oh, uh, there was about there was about uh, oh about fifteen people, but they had they had fancy uh, degrees. Some of them, nearly all of them. It's very hard to get money or a job at that mm -hmm. time. Oh, I thought, how will I get past these guys? You know. And uh, so it, it, it wasn't too bad, and I, I, uh, I enjoyed the thrill of maybe getting that kind of a job. The job meant I had uh, two years free in the, in, the, in the training college, in the textile college, before I would go out to Africa, and there'd be a, job, a management job there. And uh, so, uh, at, at the end of the day, I was worn out with all the tests they did and so on. And uh, the last thing was to go and see the the general man manager or the the top man in the in the company. And. Uh, I was the last going in, and you know they were all gone in. <laughs> so in I went, and there was this big office, and uh, who was uh, big, big behind this big desk was the man that t taught me the uh, tricks as I went along in the plane, in the in the tin, <laughs> the, 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 the yeah. And, oh my God, he said, well, how did it go, uh, Vincent? Oh, I said, it was terribly, I don't think I, I was, I'd never done anything like that. And I uh, didn't have any experience. So I, I said, well, I will be seen. And so I got the, one of the, these jobs and uh, I never looked back. Yes. My mother's prayers. Uh, she's, she was praying away for me when she heard that I was applying for the job. And somewhere uh, on the train, she worked. <laughs> and uh, so I did. I went to, to Nigeria and I loved it. And the people, I, I enjoyed them. I had a great time and uh, did, did a good job, I think. In, in, in that which was a great experience for me and for a, a lad that was in a village and was fair, I was very shy in a way but uh, um, it gave me great confidence well, but after a few years in, in, uh, in uh, Nigeria I found it very difficult to work in, in, in the, it's a so corrupt, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, the, in, in the trade there. And uh, I didn't want to lie to people, I didn't want to cheat people and so on. 
But I stayed for four years, and that was there. And then, uh, I often thought, I, I wonder how it, I got on if I had stayed on for. Anyway, but I came back to London, and Theresa was living still in, in London. She she was married, and uh, her husband uh, was working with. Uh, Canadian uh, insurance company and I applied to it and I got a, a, a good job in, uh, in the Sun Life of Canada what and I enjoyed that. What were you working as? I was selling, selling the uh, company, you know, mm -hmm. getting them to invest in, in the, the company and and get getting pensions, and so on like that. I, I did I, I did uh, enjoy it, and uh, I uh, I uh, <coughs> yes, it it was it it was good, and uh, I got promoted to to, to managing uh, a team of people, but. Uh, the most important thing is that I met Margaret. I was going out with with uh, a friend uh, who uh, I was in in Africa with me, and he would they would he and his his wife were going up to the the north of of England, uh, but I was sitting there with them, and uh, I met Margaret. I saw her coming down and I said, it's the girl for me and uh, I've never looked back, never looked back and I'm the luckiest person in the world and it's still happening, the likes of you, it's, it's just ter terrific. Um, when was that? What? Well, when was that? When was that? That was 50 years ago. Uh, if you can work it back. In the, in, in, um, in, I can't remember the, 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 the date, but uh, it was, it was 50 years ago. And, uh, so when when uh, Teresa and Ma and Terence uh, decided to go to Australia, we destroy it. We then uh, decided to come back here to Ireland to look after our parents. My father was um, a retired policeman and uh, not in very good health and uh, he was in living in London uh, in London and my mother would come over to to us but we we decided that they, they'd be much happier back in Ireland mm -hmm. and so I went back to um, with, with Margaret and I and your dad was the baby which when he arrived and um, we thought well let's we want him to, to grow up in Ireland as well and uh, that was it I, came, I transferred to the Sun Life of Canada in Dublin and uh, it was it was fine it was fine and uh, um, But it, I, I haven't t told, told you anything about your relatives. My mm. father uh, was James Jones, and he was the, the eldest in a very big family, about 12, 12 uh, people. And they were living in Kildare. And I used to go up to, the, to Kildare um, to the Punchestown races 
and uh, looked forward to that. And uh, one of the one of them was a jockey, and he would be riding in in the in the Punchestown races. One of your relatives. Oh, that was uh, that was thrilling to see my Uncle Anthony charging over the. <laughs> And it was a great storyteller. It was a wonderful story, and uh, and there were all wonderful, uh, funny people. The Joneses, very good looking, very funny, and they're all down there. And it's, you, you should you should introduce well. They're not several of them have died since then, mm. but. Um, you have connections down there. You have cousins down in there, and that's my father's side of the. Um, and my mother was a Kearns. And she was the eldest in her family, and they have there are Kearns all over America. I could give you places to go if you went to America and you wanted to land in on Kearns's, your cousins. <laughs> but uh, that's, that was that. But I, I, I've i been very happy since I came to, to Dublin. And uh, I was very lucky. I, I, I was working with, with the traveling people. Um, to, to working to to they were in in bad shape because they the, the kind of work that they used to do repairing tins and kettles and so on now all that died and uh, they they were very poor and they they were living on the side of the road and just, I. Uh, I was shocked at that, and uh, so for a couple of years I I managed to uh, work and to work for, for the tra travellers. But it's great to see them now. I mean, they're they're very well off, they're, and they've got fine houses and so on. But that was it, and uh, so. That's what that's what <laughs> my uh, story is. Story of Lucky Vincent, and uh, I hope you can be as as lucky as that. I think you will be.